Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 12, the screencast that explains and live codes the Python tutorial. I'm Ryan Che, and in this episode we'll be talking about Lambda forms. So in Python you can create anonymous strings, I'm getting the right window, and that is a string. You can create just a list. And there's a list, but how do you create just an anonymous function? Well, there's something called lambda forms. So the syntax of a lambda form is lambda parameters, a colon, just like you'd have for a function, and then uh, x times 2. Let's just do that. And you see it returned a function. So if I wanted to actually set that equal to a variable, just like I could set the string above or the list above equal to a variable, L equals lambda x, x times 2. Now I can actually just call this with oops, L uh, 5, and it'll return 5 times 2, or 10. This is exactly the same as if I uh, created a function, def double x, um, return x times 2. So now I can just call double 5, and you have 10. So why is this actually useful? Sometimes it's, it's syntactically easier to create an inline function. One of the places where I use this most often is with the sort function. So if I have a list uh, and that list is, let's say, Homer, Bart, Maggie, Marge, and Lisa. And as you see, I've put these in there sometimes with a leading uppercase and sometimes without. So if I do my list.sort, and then look at my list. You see that uh, Marge comes before Homer, Lisa comes before Maggie. Um, this is not exactly what we would expect. So what we want to do is actually use an option of the sort function where we can say key and specify something else outside of the normal compare method that sort would use. Uh, we're going to tell it to look at something else and it's going to be the return of an anonymous function. So we're going to say lambda x. The x is the parameter that you pass in. You could have multiple parameters, x, y, z. These, this is functionally equivalent to what you'd have in the parentheses before a full colon in a function definition. In this case, we're just going to take x and then we're going to say x dot lower to call the lowercase function on that particular uh, iteration. So now when I run this function, it's going to go through Bart, Marge, Homer, Lisa, Maggie. It's going to lowercase all of them and it's going to use its compare sorted based on those, those lowercase values. And as you see, now the order comes back in, in something that more approaches what we would expect. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.